Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with a resin project for your wedding. So as y'all know, I do a lot of things for newlyweds over on Happily Ever After Etc. I started my blog when I was a newlywed. I love weddings. So that's one of the main focuses that I've put in my crafting career is just getting away from these bugs and helping brides. <laughs> so, I've been doing a whole series this spring on projects that you can make for your wedding with your Cricut. And as you know, some resin has just got to sneak in there. So I bought some acrylic squares, just the five by six acrylic squares from Hobby Lobby, intending to make the acrylic um, painted, craft paint kind of whitewashed signs for table signs that everyone's been making lately. Um, I wanted to see if I could come up with a new fun way to do that. And then it hit me, why use acrylic paint when you can resin? So what I did was when I was at the end of one of my other resin projects, I think it might've been my blush and rose gold tray. And I had just a little bit of resin left. Instead of throwing that resin away, I got out these acrylic squares and I did geode patterns with the resin on the acrylic squares. They're really transparent colors because you want to be able to see through the acrylic squares and they turn out great. Now, you only need a little bit of resin for this project. I used five different colors, blush, pink, rose gold, white, holographic glitter, and rose gold glitter. And I had maybe maybe 20 milliliters of each color of resin and I made four table numbers. So if you are doing this as a project by itself, not as leftovers from another project, I would mix about 30 milliliters of each color and go from there. For your supplies, you're going to need as many acrylic squares as you think you'll need. I would only do about four at a time because the resin will start to harden and then you can mix some more resin. So four acrylic squares at a time, get as many of those as you need, okay? You're gonna need safety things like gloves. You need your respirator. You're going to need your resin. Since you don't need much, you can always just buy one of the little like eight or 32 ounce kits. You can get them on Amazon or at Hobby Lobby either way. You need all of your color and then you need your mixing cups. Now you can use either plastic or silicone, but these little mixing cups are great for a project like this because you don't need very much. Each one holds 30 milliliters, which is the max amount of color you need. Then you'll need a stir stick, either a popsicle stick or a silicone stick, whichever you wanna use, and you're ready to go. Once you've resined your piece and it's cured for 24 hours, I've cut out adhesive rose gold foil for my numbers and use transfer tape to lay it over the resin. They look beautiful. You can display them on your tables. You could use them to do all kinds of signs. I mean, you could make a big sign in the same exact fashion to do your seating chart, to do your welcome to my wedding sign, whatever you want to do. But let's get into the project and see how this works.
All right, y'all. So I love how they turned out. Each one's different, which is amazing. Let me get a little closer. Of course, they're gonna be backwards on your screen. Look how cute they are. I'm gonna put some pretty finished shots for you, but I want you to get a really good close up of that A, adhesive foil, and V of the pattern. I can totally see doing 20 tables like this really easily. Um, and it's a real cost effective way to use up the last bits of your resin if you're doing larger projects. I hope you loved this project as much as I did. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, all the things, and I will see you in the next video. You are looking for wedding projects, then stay tuned because I am doing a whole series and I will be sharing them all right here. Bye y'all.